reading salutations. Well, it's a nice chilly day here in southern Nevada and the wind's blowing like a gale out there. So I poked my head out the, uh, the back door to look at my wind turbine and it ain't spinning. So it hasn't been turning in uh, the past couple of months. It's not seized, but uh, yeah, I need to do a little bit of maintenance. What I have here is a three-bladed permanent magnet alternator that uh, the voltage output is dependent on the, um, the speed of the, uh, the wind turbine. Well, it doesn't work very good. This thing ain't turning. So, what, uh, I've had this up for about a year and the first thing I noticed when I put it up last year was that when it gets to be fall, winter here in Nevada, even though this is the desert southwest, it gets cold. Uh, last year, I think the coldest day was 19 degrees. That was pretty cold. But, um, you know, it's, it's regularly down in the 30s and 20s at night during the winter and uh, this is just a trailer axle hub. Um, and if you pack this with wheel bearing grease and it gets cold, it gets pretty viscous and that's kind of hard for, uh, that's a lot of drag for the wind to overcome. So I took the, the grease out of here because there's no lateral load on this. It's not like it's holding any weight other than the weight of itself. I took the grease out of here and I was going to use whey oil. What's whey oil? Well, if you're a machinist, you know what whey oil is. It's oil that you put on the ways of your lathe and your mill and whey oil sticks to whatever you put it on it doesn't it doesn't eventually drip off like regular motor oil is but it has the viscosity of regular motor oil I was going to use whey oil in here but I didn't have any whey oil and I live out in BFE so whey oil isn't something that is readily available here in Perunt, Nevada so I just use motor oil well I think part of the problem is that I use motor oil so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take this hub apart and uh, probably while I got it apart I might uh, go get some paint and paint this. But this is a kit I got from windgenkits.com. Um, it comes disassembled. You have to, you know, all the parts are, are uh, laser cut or water jetted or something. And you assemble this thing and you have to make your own, uh, the, the stator, you have to make that and make your own coils and buy your own magnets. But uh, uh, one of these and they offer um, the wings I'll show you those later uh, that you can buy in 36 to 72 inch 36 48 and 72 inches in length and uh, or you can make your own but all in all I got about six hundred dollars six seven hundred dollars into this by the time I figure in the grid tie inverter and uh, yeah it needs to spin Needs to turn round and round, um, but let's let's break into this thing and find out what's wrong with it. Yep, just dirty. So, yeah. Well, upon got them cleaned up and freed up. Those bearings really should be replaced, but uh, uh, it's not just dirt. There is a little bit of corrosion on there, but I'm gonna run this for another year. So right now I'm repacking the bearings. I've got the one, uh, I got one of them repacked there. And uh, here's a little tutorial for those of you who wanna know how to pack bearings. 
really a simple process, but it is extremely messy. Step one, get some gloves. Step two, get some grease. Step three, get a dollop of grease, put in the palm of your hand. See the, the, the outer cage? Now there's that gap between the, the bearing and the cage. What you wanna do is drag that grease and force it using the heel of your hand, force it into the bearings easy as that. Just work it around until some grease comes out. 